Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison video for you guys between the Chanel Wall on Chain Trendy CC compared to the Chanel Wall on Chain. This is in the caviar leather. I actually had a request to film this video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the description of both. I'm going to share with you what fits, ways to wear. I'm going to break it down into categories like I usually do. And at the end, we are going to pick a winner and I'm going to tell you which one I would recommend between these two. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you want to see a comparison between the Trendy CC walk compared to the regular Chanel walk, then keep watching. Okay guys, if you are familiar with my comparison videos in the past, and if you're not, make sure to check those out. I've done quite a few. I like to break these up into categories, and then for each category, I like to pick a winner, and then at the end, I like to, to kind of tally it up and let you know which bag won. So I know that these handbags or SLGs, you know, they can be super expensive, so I really like to do comparison videos out there because I know if you're anything like me, I like to do research ahead of time, and sometimes I'm always on the fence between two things and I just can't decide and watching videos like this will really help. So this might be a little bit of a long one but I want to make sure that I thoroughly go into detail on each bag so that way you guys can make an informed decision. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start by telling you the description of each bag. So first let's start with this beauty right here. This is the Chanel Wall Unchained in the Trendy CC. Okay so let me tell you what attracted me to this bag. I am just obsessed with the Chanel turn lock closure and I knew that I really really wanted a wallet on chain in the turn lock closure so that is where this one comes in so this one is in the lambskin leather you can see right there it has this beautiful turn lock closure this one does have a plate on the top that says Chanel now I do still have the sticker on it I'm just worried if I take the sticker on it that I will get some nicks so it's up to you if you do that but I like to keep the sticker on it on the back of the bag it is just the beautiful quilting there's not a Mona Lisa pocket you can see that on this bag there are grommets on the top and then you can see the beautiful turn lock closure. Is that not stunning? I just love that. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, you can see right here it has the little love letter pocket and this one um, just goes in a little bit. You can see like where the tip of my finger is right there. It says Chanel. This one has a little pocket here, a zip compartment here, has about six credit card slots, and then it has this beautiful chain. This is a champagne gold hardware, so it's not like super gaudy. I feel as though if this was a little more of a yellow color, it might look a little um, flashy or gaudy, but I think it looks really nice with this hardware. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so that is the Chanel Trendy CC. Now I want to go ahead and I want to share with you a little bit about the regular walk. Okay, so this is the regular Chanel walk. This is in the caviar leather. You can see that it is really, really squishy. On the back, it has the Mona Lisa pocket. This one does not have a turn lock closure. You open it up and you can see that it does have the zip compartment where Coco Chanel used to keep her love letters. Now this one, unlike the Chanel Trendy CC, this one goes all the way down to the bottom, which is great in case you wanna keep like cash in there. It has a pocket on the front, a zip compartment, another little pocket, and then let me take the chain out. It says Chanel here, and then it has six credit card slots on each side and it has this beautiful burgundy interior. This is actually a silver hardware. So now that I gave you a description, let's kind of look at these bags side by side. So you can see here, this one has the turn lock, this one doesn't. Looking at the back, this one has the Mona Lisa pocket, this one does not. I definitely feel as though the caviar leather is really, really puffy compared to this one where it's a little flatter. Okay, and then looking at the interior here, on the regular walk, the pocket goes all the way down, whereas this one doesn't really go that far. They both have a pocket in the front. They both have six credit card slots. I will break it down more, but I just wanna kind of give you a quick 
side by side. Now let's go ahead and do the dimensions of the bag here. So let's start with the Trendy CC. The Trendy CC is 4.8 inches high, 7.5 inches in length, and it's about 1.4 inches in depth. And looking up this bag, the walk is the same, has the same measurement. So these bags next to each other so you can kind of see that they are pretty much the same dimensions. Okay, so now that I showed you a little bit about each bag, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this up into categories, and for each category, we are going to pick a winner, and then at the end, I'm going to tally it up, and we are going to see which handbag won. So the first category we are going to talk about is price. Oh my gosh, these luxury handbags can be so pricey, so obviously price is a big deal. This Trendy CC, I looked as of yesterday, retails for $3,100, whereas the Chanel Walk retails for $2,500. So right there, we're talking a $600 difference. You guys, these Chanel price increases have been crazy lately. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have the jumbo on my wish list. So I'm really hoping I can get it before the price increase because I have heard there might be another one. I hope not, but the prices are, oh my gosh, just so astronomical. But between these two, it is a $600 difference. So for the price category, the Chanel Walla Unchained and the Caviar Leather wins by $600. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to share with you what fits in each bag. So I'm going to spin the camera around just so that it can be a little easier for you guys to see the bags. And I'm going to share with you what fits in each bag. Okay guys, we are going to start with the beautiful Chanel Trendy CC. You can see this bag is just so gorgeous and my favorite part is definitely the turn lock closure. That just screams Chanel. I love it. And you can see it has the beautiful plate, but I keep the sticker on it. And then I also like to keep the chain over top of it as well. So it opens like this and I personally find that it's easier to close this bag because of the turn lock closure. You can see the interior here now one thing that I would recommend is a base shaper for these bags it's basically just a piece of cardboard I don't actually own one but you put it at the bottom of the bag and it kind of helps to expand it a little bit but I know that um, a lot of people sell them on Instagram so make sure to check that out I don't actually have one so I'm just going to kind of show you what fits without it but um, definitely check on Instagram because that will help to expand the bag a little more. Okay, so I have a bunch of things in front of me and I'm just going to kind of show you what I typically carry. So for this portion of the video, I'm actually filming on my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my case. I have an iPhone XR. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I have a little card holder, a Chanel card holder that you can pop in there. If you don't want to use a card holder, you can certainly put your credit cards in there, but I like to use a card holder. Then I have my Hermes Bastia, which just has um, change in it. You know how much I love that. So I have my phone, a card holder, the Bastia. And then let's also, I'm going to also pop this in. This is my key clay from Louis Vuitton in the Damier. Uh, this is the Damier Graphite, so you can feel see how those fit in there nicely. I have some Chanel. This is um, this is yep number fifty four in the shade Boy. Um, it's really really pretty, like mauve color. It's like a balm. I love it. I'm gonna pop that in there, and then I could probably, if I wanted, put this on top, and then you can see. I close it. And it just looks beautiful and it doesn't really pucker too bad i think it looks really nice and you open it back up you can see the stuff fits but let's kind of try a couple of different combinations here but let's say you want to use like the boy coin um, i can put that in there and then i can also put my my phone in there with the boy coin and then I will also put a lipstick. Um, if I want, I can put my key clay behind there. And then I can also pop in my, oops, sorry, I can pop in my Bastia. And then, you know what, let's put this on top. So that's gonna be a little more stuff to the brim. But you can see, because of the turn lock, it just makes it a lot easier to close. So boy, that is, a, that is pretty stuff, but for a little bag, 
it certainly does fit a good amount. So now what I want to do, so this is everything that fit. Now I want to share with you what fits in the regular Chanel walk. Okay, so here is the regular Chanel walk. You can see this looks nice and puffy. It is the caviar leather. My one complaint with this is Again, you see how it, the sides have been puckering up, but I also find that because of the button, when I'm closing it, unless it's like completely full, I find that it's kind of like difficult to close. So anyway, I definitely think for this bag too, you could benefit from a base shaper because it would expand it um, a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's try to fit the same amount of things that I had in the the other one. So here is the my phone, my iPhone XR. And then let's try to put this, it's my coin. Let's try to shove that one in there. I have my Bastia. Okay, I have this. And then I have a lip gloss. Now, I have everything, but you can see, oh, hold on, it's hard to close. Oh gosh. All right, so you can see, I have the same amount that I put in there. However, do you see how this starts to pucker up a little bit? So technically I can fit the same amount, but it is just, it's just a little bit harder to close. And you can see how the side, things are kind of poking out. Whereas with the turn lock closure, it just enables the flap to go a little further and it closes a little easier. So technically, can you fit the items in here? Yes, but it causes the bag to bulge a little bit, which is not something that I am a huge, huge fan of, but it does fit. So if you're looking for it to fit, um, the items do fit. However, look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't know why it does that. That is just such a complaint of mine. And then, like I said, the closure. But we're, we're strictly talking about what fits. So technically, both of the items, both of the bags fit the same amount. But for this category, I am going to have to give it to the Chanel Trendy CC because like I said, even though they fit the same amount, the Trendy CC did not pucker. And then I just felt like with the turn lock, it just was easier to like pull over and close and you see how this one puckers and this one doesn't it remains flat so for this category I'm going to have to give it to this one okay now that you saw what fits I want to now share with you ways to wear so I'm telling you the one cool thing about the wallet on chain is there are so many different ways to wear it and I'm probably not including all of them in this video because there are so many creative ways I am about five foot three the first way you can wear it is a long shoulder bag then the way that I like to wear it, you can also wear it as a crossbody. And like I said, I'm five foot three, so I feel like it hits me at a good length. Then what you can do is you can wear it as a short shoulder bag like this. You can also put the chain on the interior here and you can kind of just hold it as like a little clutch, which I think looks really nice, especially for special occasions. And then another way that I like to wear this bag too, the plate can feel a little flashy for some people. So what I like to do is I like to pull it so that the chain is hanging, is so that the chain is over top of the plate. So then if I wear it, it's not quite as flashy or in your face. So you can see there are multiple ways to wear this bag, super, super cute. So now let's go ahead and let's talk about the Chanel regular walk. Okay, so of course, you can wear it as a long shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody bag, which is how I usually wear it. You can wear it a little shorter, like see what I did, how I crisscrossed the, sh the chains. You can wear it as a shorter shoulder bag, like so. You can also tuck the chain 
on the inside and you can wear it as a little clutch. I like to use this when I was in Vegas because especially if I was going out in the evenings, I just thought this was a really nice clutch. So many different combinations out there. There are a lot of good videos showing you, but both of these are very versatile so you can wear both of these quite a few ways. So for this particular category, I'm gonna give it a tie. Okay, so if you're wearing a handbag, of course, accessibility and ease of use is extremely important. So when I am wearing this bag, I have to tell you, I absolutely love the turn lock closure because I feel like it's really easy to get into and get my things. You can just close it shut like this. Whereas this one, I'm not going to lie, I feel as though when I go to close it, it's really hard to find the button. Like I really have to line it up. And do that so I feel as far as like ease of use this one has a little more of an annoyance when it comes to closing it whereas this one is not as much I find that the turn lock closure just makes it really nice and easy to close and this one just has a little bit of an annoyance yeah, so as far as ease of use they're both pretty easy to wear however i definitely feel like this one is a little more convenient when it comes to closing the bag this one it is just such a pain to find the button and i just love the turn lock closure Okay, now I wanna talk about the wear and tear of the bags. So this one is lambskin, so of course you have to be a little more careful when wearing lambskin because it is a little more delicate. However, I've had this bag for a long time and I actually feel like it looks beautiful. And I have worn it quite a bit. You can see the corners still are intact. The lambskin looks beautiful. There's no tarnishing. Um, I would say, the thing I was really worried about was the plate, but because I kept the sticker on, it still looks in great condition. You can see in here, I don't have any scuff marks. The interior looks good. So I would say that this Trendy CC has worn really, really nicely. Now, I have not had this Trendy CC quite as long as I've had the walk. However, I have worn it quite a bit and I think it is worn beautifully. Before I got this, I knew it was lambskin and I was a little worried about it, but I think it has just held up so nice. So now let's talk about my Chanel walk in the caviar. Okay, so this one is beautiful as well. You can see that the caviar is still nice and puffy. The one nice thing about caviar is like, if you get a scratch on it or something like that, it's really not a big deal. You can throw it around, it's really durable. The Mona Lisa pocket looks nice. Um, on the interior, it looks beautiful. The only thing sometimes is on the interior of the bag. If you don't have an organizer, you have a few like little marks, but other than that, um, it's great. But let me tell you what has happened to this bag that is absolutely, I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, it's a little frustrating for how much this bag is, I'm not sure why it happened. Do you see right here how the corners have kind of puckered up a little bit? I'm not sure why it's done that. It should be flat. I definitely do not overstuff this bag, but do you see what I mean, how it kind of puckers out a little bit? So you guys, I'm gonna be honest, both of these bags have worn pretty well, but between the two of them, you would think I would say that the lambskin is a little more beat up, but it's not. I feel like this one looks beautiful, and I feel like this one, just because it's puckering up like that, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Other than that, there really aren't many uh, things to complain about. But between the two, I'm going to have to choose this one as the winner because since it is lamb, I, it's worn like so nicely. And that it's a nice surprise to me because I thought the caviar would wear better. Now, there are no marks on the caviar, but this, just simply because this is puckering up, I have to mention that because I feel like for a bag being as pricey as this is, that should not happen. So for this category, I'm going to have to pick the Trendy CC as the winner. Okay, now I wanna talk about a category which everyone, when you get a bag, you like there to be like special features or things that are unique about it. So for this particular bag, of course you have the beautiful turn lock closure, which is what attracted me to this. And then you also have the plate at the top, which makes it look nice. So everything else about the bag is like pretty similar to the other one, but I just love the 
the beautiful turn lock closure, and then the plate at the top. Now, this one right here, the special features, the thing that's neat, it does not have the um, turn lock closure, unfortunately, but it does have this pocket right here that goes all the way down. Now, when I went to Vegas with my husband, we would go to the casinos, and I would keep money down here, and then I might just keep like credit cards or something in here. So this is a great place if you wanna kinda hide or conceal something, so that is a really, really great special feature. Plus, this one has the beautiful Mona Lisa pocket that you can slip in a card or something like that. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to mention about this one is it is nice because it has the grommets at the top, so it makes it so that the chain just slides really nicely and really easily. So. For special features, this one has about three that I really like, and this one has the two, the special pocket as well as the Mona Lisa pocket on the back. So I would say for special features, you would have to go with the Chanel Trendy CC. Okay, the next category I like to talk about is how versatile is the bag? Like you, you saw earlier that you can wear both of these bags multiple ways, but let's talk about casual versus dressy. Let's first talk about this bag right here. So when I first got this, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, you know what? Am I really gonna be able to wear it that much? It's such a dressy bag, mainly because of the plate. But because I discovered that you can put the chain over top of it here, it kind of um, dresses it down a little bit. And I have found that I will wear this bag to work, you know, over the shoulder. I will wear it crossbody, and I will insert a picture where I have it crossbody, just with like some leggings and a sweater, and it looks beautiful. Beautiful. You can wear it as a clutch for special occasions, so it is very, very versatile. And then for this one, it's the same thing. I wear it casual in Vegas, and then when I go out in the evenings, I will wear it as a clutch. So I personally, some people might think this one is just too dressy, but I disagree because I do wear it casual. So for this particular category, I'm gonna have to make it a tie because both of these are extremely versatile in the sense where I feel you can wear them both casual and dressy. Okay guys, now we come to the part of the video where we are going to tally everything up and we are going to see which bag I would recommend between the Trendy CC walk and the regular walk. Okay, so the Trendy CC came out with four. It fit more. Uh, I like the fact that it was easily accessible because of the turn lock closure. So it was like easy to open and close. I love the fact that the wear and tear has been amazing on this considering it's lambskin. And then I love the fact that it offers some special features like the turn lock closure, the beautiful plate, and then I love how it comes out of the grommets at the top. So this one comes with four. Then you have this little guy which comes in with one being the price. It definitely has a lot of great features about it, but the price of this one is $600 cheaper, so it's four to one. And then we also have tie in a couple areas. We have a tie in the ways to wear, as well as whether or not you can wear this bag casual or dressy. So it is four, one, and two. So that means that in my humble opinion, I would recommend this one right here. Even though it is pricier, I feel like it has so many amazing qualities. It really, really does. Don't get me wrong, I love both of these bags, but just between the two, I find that I gravitate towards this one. I just, mainly for the turn lock closure, when I think of Chanel, I think of that beautiful turn lock closure, and I love the fact that you can get a wallet on chain with a beautiful turn lock closure. I also love the fact that you can wear it casual or dressy. I love the fact that you can fit a lot. I love the fact that this bag, even though it's lambskin, it has worn really, really well. Do I like that it's $600 more? No, I don't like that, but you can wear this a lot of different ways as well. So do I like both bags? Yes, I absolutely do love both bags, but just between the two of these, I tend to gravitate more towards this one. It is just such a beautiful bag, but this is a great bag as well too. So I will leave it up to you guys. That's why these videos are fun to film. I can just kind of share with you the categories. I can share with you which one I think has won, but then it can kind of leave the decision up to you guys based on what I shared with you, which one you want to go for. But you can't go wrong with either one. You really can't. But I will tell you, the puckering of the bag, I think, has really, really gotten to me. I would love to know your thoughts. If you guys do own the Chanel um, Walk, has yours started to do that? I'm not sure why mine has done that. I don't store it in a funny way. I don't overstuff it by any means. But 
it does kind of bother me so I hope this helped like I said whenever I'm trying to do research like on a new bag I like to watch comparison videos and you guys have told me that comparison videos are very helpful to you in the past so hopefully this does help you guys I will try to find both bags and link them down below and I would love to know your thoughts if you own both of these which one do you prefer love both of them but I think breaking it down into categories this is the one that I definitely gravitate towards I'm not gonna lie mainly for this turn lock closure I just love it and I feel like the turn lock closure screams Chanel I'm just so in love with it so thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I love to have you follow me on Instagram as well I hope this video helped let me know what you guys end up deciding thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video Wish me the best of luck. I'm gonna